Welcome to the session and thanks for joining uh, this interesting session. I'm going to take start with a famous quote that technology is best when it brings people together. Nowadays, technology is everywhere. From newborn baby to an aged person, everyone familiar and interacted with new inventions. From photo click to social media applications, everything belongs to technology. If someone asks me, is technology is good or bad? Then my answer is pretty simple. Nothing is completely good and bad. Hi everyone, I am Shkil Ahmed and you all are welcome in the training unit of Dean Shri Papi Learning and IT. Today we're gonna have it a very interesting session and I hope you will learn something new. In this session, you're gonna learn how technology can help teachers to bring good results and improves students' skill in a better way. Today's topic is, uh, augmented reality in education. We all know that we remember better what we saw than what we listen. So uh, we are going to bring something very interesting and uh, I would like to add something uh, before start that uh, uh, we being uh, a team of e-learning trainers, we try to bring some good material which can help and groom the teachers and they can implement these type of all, all, all kind of new technology in their teaching sessions and uh, that would be uh, benefited to the students as well. So augmented reality uh, is one of them and uh, one of the best technology which can use uh, by the teacher for the students to bring some good results. And uh, all of our trainings are not only based on the presentations, we try to bring some tutorials, we try to record some tutorials which can help you to understand in a better way. And this presentation is also based on uh, some facts and figures to try to make understand that what is uh, the difference between augmented reality and uh, what is the difference between uh, virtual reality and how we can implement all these technologies for our uh, teaching sessions and how we can make benefits for the students. So let's uh, take a start. Um, and imagine a world where your students can take a tour inside the human brain or travel in space to explore the solar system. It's definitely uh, seems like fascinating right from the classroom desk. Uh, you can uh, have uh, like a, a very imaginative things uh, are coming and um, your students can enjoy all these things. It might sound futuristic, uh, but uh, technology like augmented reality and virtual reality turn these ideas into tangible possibilities. So we have to look uh, through it that how we can make this uh, interesting and how this technology can uh, benefit uh, for the teacher and for the student as well. There are many different ways for people uh, to be educated and trained with regard to specific information and skills they needed. These methods include classroom lectures with textbooks, computers, handheld devices, and other electronic appliances. The choice of learning innovation is dependent on an individual uh, like it depends on individual access to various technologies and the infrastructure environment of a person's surroundings. In a rapidly changing society where there is a great deal of available information and knowledge, adopting and applying information at the right time and right place is needed to main efficiency in both school and business sectors. 
Augmented reality is one uh, of the technology that dramatically shifts the location and timing of education training and uh, that can benefit in a different way. But before we take a start towards uh, augmented reality, we have, to, we have to understand that what is virtual reality because virtual reality and augmented reality runs together and they have a little bit difference between each other. So we, we're gonna take start uh, to understand the, uh, to, to build the understanding about the virtual reality. Virtual reality is a, a simulated uh, that can be similar to or completely different from the real world. And um, applications of virtual reality includes entertainment and education. VR style technology uh, is included in this type of technology. Augmented reality and mixed reality sometimes referred to as extended reality or XR technology as well. Now we have to take a look about the augmented reality. The ability to overlay computer graphics uh, onto the real world is commonly called augmented reality. Unlike Im immersive virtual reality, AR interfaces allow users to see the real world at the same time as virtual image attached to real locations and objects. You're gonna say uh, in an AR interface, the user views the world through a handheld or hand-mounted uh, displays. And these uh, head-mounted displays called HMD technology, uh, that is either see-through or overlays graphics on video of the surrounding environment. AR interfaces enhance the real world experience unlike other computer interfaces that draw users away from the real world and onto the screen. But normally our questions come in our mind that uh, what is difference between augmented reality and uh, virtual reality? Augmented reality basically describes a combination of the two worlds, reality and virtual reality. Means you can uh, maintain your presence in the reality, but you can experience the virtual reality by using different type of uh, devices. They are allowed to superimpose 3D content products into the real world. And uh, AR allow interaction with 3D content at real time. This is one of the best point I like it, that 3D content you can uh, observe and in coming slides, you can have an idea that how uh, the 3D objectives can have, uh, 3D objects can uh, make the difference in the teaching for the students as well. AR is the real-time delivery of digital information to enhance or enable a geographical, physical experience. So let's have a look at what is the difference between uh, augmented reality and uh, versus virtual reality. I would say in a simple words that system augment the real world scene in augmented reality user maintains a sense of presence in real world. This is very important point. You need to uh, keep in your mind that user maintain a sense of presence in real world. It means he is experiencing something different uh, that is based on graphically uh, created graphics and uh, he is experiencing augmented reality, but he can make himself uh, and maintain the sense of presence that he is in the real world, but he is experiencing something uh, graphic-based environment as well. And augmented reality needs a mechanism to combine virtual and real world. This is another simple example that you can say that once you can uh, like maintain the sense of presence, it means you are uh, uh, dealing with the real world and you are 
having some kind of graphical uh, infographics inside uh, using the handheld devices or handheld devices, it means you are in the virtual environment. So you are actually uh, combining the augmented reality and real world. But uh, if you have an idea about virtual reality, uh, that is a totally immersive, illusionary environment and visual senses under control of the system. Uh, in virtual reality, uh, you normally do not have connection with the real world and you cannot maintain the sense of the real world. Here you have to wear some kind of uh, uh, like glasses or some kind of devices uh, on your face and you feel yourself inside that um, world and that is called virtual world. So you cannot um, uh, sense uh, that you are in the real world and uh, there are many examples for that one, the Samsung glasses and uh, there are uh, IVR glasses and there are many other uh, equipment which can uh, be example for the virtual reality. Uh, the simple thing you need to remind, remember that uh, visual sense in under control of the system, here all of your visuality, uh, visual sense is under control to the system. So whatever the system showing you, you can feel that you are the part of that uh, environment. Sometimes we have some games in, in inside the playing area. If you visit here, if we uh, take example for uh, Jizan, and in Kadimal, in the playing area, there is 70, I think so, there is uh, one room is available and they put you inside uh, that room. They give you some uh, special type of uh, glasses and you can wear that glasses and you feel that you are part of that uh, environment. Uh, and uh, this journey can be the, you, you are in the forest, uh, you are using some kind of uh, horror type of things over there. So uh, all the senses are controlled by the system in the virtual reality. Application area of AR, in which areas we can, uh, uh, th this augmented reality is being uh, used that could be consumer design, engineering design, entertainment. I believe all kind of uh, fields uh, have the merging of augmented reality to make it easy to understand for the trainees and um, for the students as well. Manufacturing, maintenance and repair department, and the most important, importantly, education department. Uh, driving school, military training, medical, you can see a long list over there, but I can uh, take some points to discuss with you that education, how? Sometimes you are not able to prepare a very huge and expensive lab uh, laboratories uh, to make all kind of uh, like practicals for the student. So at that time, you can use the augmented reality. In coming slides, we do have the, some tutorial which can make you understand that how um, these type of uh, softwares, there are different type of softwares available for the education. Using uh, some electronic devices, you can uh, do whatever you want, uh, which is not possible in a normal education system. You need a huge budget for that to prepare that kind of laboratories. But uh, once you're using these kind of electronic devices, you can uh, have experience and your students can experience the real and virtual world, world experience at the same time without uh, um, investing too much money for that one. Driving schools, you know that uh, driving is not an easy task. You need to learn first. And if you're learning on your car or uh, inside the center, even then uh, there is chances for accident. So, uh, because you're a beginner. Uh, so in driving schools, you can use uh, this uh, type of uh, technology, this type of augmented reality environment over there. And uh, I believe I have seen many driving schools, they are using uh, uh, this environment to train the uh, the driving trainee uh, to make him understand and to develop the sense of driving before going to the real world, um, like uh, real world uh, driving on the roads. 
So military trainings and medical trainings uh, are the similar way that uh, you cannot send your military uh, into the grounds. They do have to spend a lot of money to prepare and drilling for all that, that uh, kind of things. But investing a little money for the augmented reality, uh, they can save a lot of budget for military and they can train their trainees, all type of trainees, uh, before deploying them in the real environment. The similar case with the medical environment uh, that uh, you need a doctor. Who is the best doctor? Very simple question. The best doctor is the one who uh, can have the experience to do a lot of operations and he can diagnose perfectly then how he can have the experience. For sure, until he is implementing his knowledge in the real world, then he can have the experience. But this is too risky. For example, he took 100 uh, operations and out of 100, like 10 or 15 failure cases, it means it's a huge loss for the human body. So uh, the augmented reality environment is the best environment for the medical students as well before going for the practical for the real world environment they can have and they can uh, implement all kind of uh, strategies and operations in augmented reality environment and understand everything the picture you are um, uh, seeing on your screen this is uh, basically um, first interactive 3D cover in the US and uh, it was published in June 16, 2009. And this was um, just the, uh, you can say the start of the augmented reality, virtual reality environment. And they try to uh, make the cover 3D type cover. The question is, uh, okay, that is augmented reality and we were talking about augmented reality, how many types we, do we have it for um, uh, augmented reality? <clears throat> there are multiple types. Uh, number one is projection-based uh, augmented reality and recognition-based, location-based and outlining augmented reality. Superimposition-based AR. We have to go all all the types one by one, and we're gonna discuss this in detail. Number one is projection-based augmented reality. Projection-based AR is described as a video projection technique, which can extend and reinforce visual data by throwing images on the surface of 3D objects or space. This belongs to spatial augmented reality in a broad sense. We do have tutorial in coming slides, so you will understand that how it can work that one. Recognition-based uh, augmented reality is focuses on the recognition of objects and then provide us more information about the object. One of them is uh, to detect the object in front of the camera and provide information about the object on screen. This is something similar to the AR apps for travelers, location browsers. Uh, imagine 10 years back, being a traveler, because I'm a frequent traveler. So 10 years back, when we try to locate some of the location, for example, I am going to travel Jeddah first time, and I do not have an idea that how I can reach on my destination, it was pretty difficult for everyone to reach on the location without having the information. But after uh, the invention of and bringing the technology in your traveling experience, it make it easy like Google Maps and many other maps applications are running nowadays. And you just need to put your uh, location and you can have idea everything. For example, you need the petrol station, it will tell you that, okay, this uh, much, uh, th this location is for the petrol location and this is five kilometers away or 10 kilometers away. And even now you can have an idea that everything is graphically representation 
uh, available over there. You can read everything and what is uh, the location and what is the name of that location. So that is recognition-based uh, augmented reality. This is one of the examples for that one. Location-based, uh, this is similar uh, like recognition-based that it, um, augmented reality stands for markerless position-based and geo-based augmented reality. Location-based augmented reality relies on GPS, which I gave you the example right now, and uh, accelerometer, digital compass, and other technology to identify a device location and position with high accuracy. You can see that if one of your friend is coming to you and uh, he asks you that, please, can you please um, tell me where are you located? Where is your home located? So what is the easiest way you use to tell him? Either you call him and tell him, okay, uh, you have to drive straight, then right. Okay, you can see this building. And then from here, you have to take left. It's, uh, if someone is using like this way, it's pathetic because now we have much more uh, interesting and accurate uh, things we do have using by technology. You simply open your WhatsApp, click on the location, and it will give you the 100% uh, accurate location. You just need to click on that button and your guest could receive this message. Okay, you have the location. You just click on that one, maps open, and he can drive. Uh, in maybe less than a time which you are telling him or her on the call and it is more difficult for him to understand. So there are a lot of examples for, um, uh, for this type of technology augmented reality using in our daily life as well. Outlining augmented reality recognizes boundaries and lines to help in situation when the human eyes can't. Outlining augmented reality uses object recognition to understand a user's immediate surroundings. Think about driving in low light. It's pretty interesting. You, you have to think that you're driving in a low light condition or seeing the structure of a building from the outside. So it can help you to recognize which your real eye sometimes is uh, not able to understand. The last one is uh, superimposition based uh, AR technology uh, that is superimposition based augmented reality uses object recognition. The augmented image replaces the original image either partially or fully. This type of AR is commonly used in the medical field to superimpose an X-ray onto a patient's body. The X-ray machine is the best example for superimposition-based uh, augmented reality, and it can also be used to enhance a historical tour. Sometimes due to corona, uh, last couple of years mean no one have an idea or uh, not no one getting chance to travel and many of the companies introduce virtual tours virtual trips this is all based on um, like augmented reality they took pictures and videos and they compose them in the augmented reality based uh, devices and using some electronic devices you can have um, uh, like enhanced historical trip or any kind of trip, you can go ahead by using this technology and no need to visit physically if you are not able to go over there. Now this is uh, the most crucial part of our presentation that augmented reality in education. Augmented reality, uh, basically through augmented reality, educators are able to improve learning outcomes through increased engage and interactivity. Especially in higher education, augmented reality is used for a wide range of applications. Faculty use AR platforms to incorporate gamification into curriculum and create educational material. 
Through augmented reality technology, teachers can materialize abstract concepts to help students visualize and understand challenging subjects, especially if any of the subject is uh, difficult subjects and you are unable to teach students theoretically, you can have uh, some graphical material and you can prepare some graphical material using some uh, applications and using your electronic devices, you can make it easy for the students. And augmented reality, no doubt, provide a rich contextual learning and uh, opportunity for more authentic learning and appeals to multiple learning styles. Appeals to constructivism, nations of the education where students can take control of their own learning. But last three points are very interesting and my favorite points provide each student with his own unique discovery path. They can enjoy this discovery part using these electronic uh, devices, using augmented reality, which is not possible using the books or theoretical knowledge. And you can engage a learner in ways that never been possible. That was not never been like if you uh, are talking about 10 years back, we have no idea about augmented reality or we were not using that one, but now it's available and it's engaged all the students, teachers, and even the business community to uh, with the augmented reality to enhance their business, to enhance the education system. And the final thing is no real consequences if mistakes are made during skills training. This is the most powerful part of this augmented reality or power point of augmented reality by using these uh, like uh, technologies, there are zero percent chances of uh, I mean like any kind of bad consequences if you made any mistake. A doctor made mistake in the real world mean a person die. A driving a person made any mistake in, on the road, it means a person die and he could have lost the car and life as well. A military person made a mistake, it means he can kill the innocent people. So everything is possible and there are bad consequences, pros and cons available in real world implementation and the trainings. But this is the best thing for the technology that um, during the skill training, there are no consequences available and there is no mistake. Even you can make mistake, you can hit your car, uh, you can make me like made a bad operation for the, um, for the patient because nothing is real, everything is virtual. So you can make mistake and you can learn and you can cannot make these type of mistakes in your real world. Hmm. Now we have an, uh, the portion that use of augmented reality in education. What kind of uses we do have in real world uh, where we can use augmented reality for sure that skills training, I just discussed about that one, discovery based learning, augmented reality gaming. I mean, sometimes you cannot play the games uh, because these are expensive, you need a lot of equipment for that one, but augmented reality based gaming can put you in the real world and you can feel yourself that you are playing like you have everything with you. Modeling objects, you can prepare the models for your objects and augmented reality books. Yeah, yani if you can convert theoretically books, printed books into augmented reality books, it can uh, increase the interest for the students and for the teachers as well to make them um, understand and build their understanding in a better way. Now uh, we need to know about the softwares of AR in education because definitely we do have some specific softwares uh, which can be used for the educational purpose. And um, uh, being an uh, e-learning trainer, we try to bring out uh, some free softwares and free platforms for you, which you can apply. And uh, some of them are completely free. Some of them are partially free. Uh, you can go ahead with the uh, trial versions, but we try to bring most of them the free version so you can apply. I mean, this is not like I have discussed here that, okay, you have to use this, this, this software. This is 
very good and at the end i can say okay you have to spend 100 dollar then it will work for you that doesn't make sense so we try uh, to bring a material which is good for you and free for you there is a long list uh, hp reveal uh, co spaces edu wonderscape scope layer shift 3d and on rise side you can find it the free softwares google expeditions and uh, metaverse snapchat google translate ar maker and some of them uh, them i have taken to discuss and we do have tutorials for you that how they have worked but all, all these softwares can be used inside classroom for the students number 1 is google translator as augmented reality now i think so everyone understand and know about the google translator because uh, we as a multicultural uh, we are living in the multicultural environment some belongs to the arab countries some belongs from the um, english countries some belong from asian countries and uh, it doesn't mean everyone is understanding everything from everyone so google translator is one of the best application which help us to translate and understand what the person is saying uh, initially it was only text based uh, translation but later on it came with uh, uh, voice translation audio translation audio uh, typing and now even with the camera you can you just need to hold your camera in front of the object and it can translate uh, uh, that text in to your a uh, specified language for example for, from arabic to english you just do not need to type and then take the translations but you just need to put your camera in front of that text and it will be converted automatically so here is a tutorial uh, for translation so uh, i have to play this one to make it more understandable for everyone there okay here we go you, you just need to open the application you just need to install the application on your mobile and click on the camera button and look at the results testing it was in indonesian language and it's quickly converted to english uh, just putting and placing your camera on that text one and here is uh, the another text two one two and flip it you can see uh, technology is uh, transforming every day it is making uh, life easy for us and this is not uh, this is first time that uh, we are uh, uh, taking advantage from the technology but the similar thing that uh, technology itself nothing is bad or good it depends that your intention to use that technology so by using in a better way you can uh, take more benefits with this one the next example is augmented reality maker that a r m a k r maker uh, what does this te uh, technique do it and what is the benefit for this application let's have a look with this one
Hey guys, this is a short introduction to uh, the new app that you're going to be looking at, which is called AR Maker. And it's got a. So here is the application AR M A K R. On right side, you can see it. So you need to download on your mobile and you can use this one. Purple background, AR Maker. We will start here. Okay, when you press enter, start. Okay, so you get some starter templates, so you can create your own scene. But for you guys, let's have a look at the space mission template for now. Very simple to use. Click on. Okay, and similar to the other AR tools we're using, it's going to ask you for a flat surface. So let's see here. Create my scene. Uh, I would request that this tutorial is one of the best tutorial for the teaching purpose. So please be focused on this one to make uh, to uh, to build your understanding that how you can use this type of applications inside classroom for the students as well. Yeah. So now we get this screen come up. So you see on the left hand side we've got our objects. Once you open the new project, you you just need to open the app application and you can find out there is a different tablet so you just need to click on uh, the create new project and you can have this uh, screen in front of you and on left side you can find out different type of uh, graphical pictures and uh, by clicking on that one and on right side you can find out a button place and you can place on the screen this is a space form Got all different ones to do a space, so let's grab our satellite and now I can start to move my satellite around where I want it. Make my satellite a bit bigger and place my satellite there. So I'm gonna move around, I'm gonna place my moon, whoa, big moon, and place it here. And now you see you can start to build up your augmented reality image okay wasn't happy with the place so uh, I need to mention one thing over here I told you earlier in the uh, definition that what is augmented reality and we have discussed that you can maintain your sense uh, in the real world and you can play with uh, some graphical 3d uh, images in the augmented reality so you can see uh, in front of you, uh, there is one table. This is this table is the real world table, the original table. And on that table, we are trying to place some of the objects from the ob augmented reality. And you can see the difference. Go back and delete it. Okay, so let's put our... Oops, bit big, let's put it on here and place it down. Okay, so now I've got my AI image, I can walk around it, have a look at it. And what's also great about this one is, oh, I actually really want the planet Mars. I could do a few things. So one, I press new, I can start to draw my planet. So Mars is red. I'll just do this quickly. So we can import any sort of drawings that you want onto this. Press tick. Save success. Your object is ready. And then when I scroll down, hopefully I can see. There you go, my Mars drawing here. No, it's more like a fireball, but. Oh well. I'm gonna place it make it a bit bigger next to here. Okay. So what you can also do go to new. Uh, I can take pictures, I can do drawings, I can also click this folder button here. And I can see in my photo library. So any of these photos I can also add in as well. So photos you find online, you can save to your camera roll, like these ones, 
uh, this astronaut. Adjust it, just make sure it's right. Tick it in. Tick again. Save success. And now, oh, there we go. There is my astronaut as well. Oh, yeah. So in this way, you can import your uh, personal images as well. It doesn't mean that you can use only the images which are available inside uh, these templates. You can import in this way and you can place it whatever the image you want it. Place and done. Uh, a little tip, if you want to have text as well, you can create a text box by using pages or Google Doc, uh, then screenshot your text and then have it as an image. And then you can put your text in so you can have like, labels on the side of things as well. Okay. So once you're done, uh, press that arrow to move outside the screen to get the full screen again so you can see your AR uh, environment brought to life. And the last step is you can Press these buttons on the side, you can take a picture of it, or you can do a recording of a movie of your AR scene and talk about the scene you've created and use all the facts that you've learned about your space topic. You can see uh, if you're going to uh, teach about uh, the space topic and you want to uh, build a sense, uh, a more understanding sense for the student, you can use this technology and what happened next that not only you can uh, prepare live and show to the students, you can take on right side, you can see there are two options available. You can take the picture either, or you can uh, record the video and later on you can use this video for your students as well. So just press the record button here. You see it's now recording this scene and I can move my camera around focus in on different things and narrate my scene for the audience. Okay, I want to stop that. And the interesting thing is, it's all been happening with your mobile. You do not need a specific electronic device to prepare this kind of tutorials or using the augmented realities. Everyone has the smartphone, especially the one who is living here in Saudi Arabia. Without smartphone, there is no life. So everyone have the devices, gadgets. They can use the ga gadgets for the teaching purpose as well. Uh, this doesn't mean that you can have to implement these only in higher education. Even you can implement them to your personal, I mean, like to your uh, kids at your home. And especially nowadays, everything is online. So you can make them learn uh, everything in a better way. It's going to save that to my camera roll. Let's have a look. There we go. So this was the video. video. It's now recording. Been recorded earlier. It's picture in picture. And going back to this one, if I press this uh, bar at the top left corner as well, I get these options. So reset, which resets it all. Quit is obviously quit. But if I want to save my scene and work on it again later, Save, give my scene a uh, correct title, space, scene, done, click save scene, scene saved, and then I can reload that scene again. From the my scenes, yeah. So you can save your project for the later use and here we have saved with the name of space scene and that is available in front of you. So you've got the templates and my scenes and my library of images as well, which is in here, okay? Awesome, all right, hopefully that's enough to uh, for you to guys to create some interesting uh, space scenes. So that's all from AR and you can see that how we can use them in uh, for the educational purpose. The next one is how to create augmented reality for education. This is uh, another important question that how we can create a personal augmented reality for education. So let's have a look.
This video will show you how you can create an augmented reality experience using Unite AR. First up, I'm going to head over to uniteAR.com slash login and sign in using... Uh, for this website, uh, uh, Unite AR, uh, you need to create your account first and then you need to log in because some of the uh, sites are mandatory to ask you to go with the registration process. And it's free, uh, of course, you can go with your email and you can create your uh, login credentials and then you need to log in with that one to create the United yeah. Registered email ID. I'm gonna click on sign in. Now I'm gonna click on. So admin. here is a dashboard after login at Unite AR, and you need to click on add new project to take a start. Project here, I'm gonna select image based. AR. There are two types of uh, AR projects uh, one is image based, and second one is web based AR. We're we have no, started with the image based and you can see there is uh, again two options available drag and drop files here or browse you can browse or either you can drag and drop your picture here i have to upload a target image so i'm going to create one right now here you can see a pdf i'm going to open it up and scroll down Okay. So this is the PDF file. You can uh, have any kind of file with you. You can uh, take the snapshot or screenshot from that uh, picture and you can copy and paste over there. And I'm going to select this article over here. So I'm going to head over to my finder and type in screenshot. Okay. And select We're going to take the screenshot for astronaut uh, on the moon. So we have to play with this image in the application and crop just the section that i want all right and now at the bottom okay and i'm going to click on capture and if i click on it it's going to ask me to save and i'll close this one and you can see the screenshot over here all right now i'm going to head over back to my browser and click we're on going browse. to browse it and the okay, picture the we have screenshot over here and select it on open. And, open it. and once it's done uploading the next button should light up so yeah. you can see this is the same picture we have taken the uh, screenshot and imported here and i'm going to click on next and it's going to take us to the Content page. So here this is the content work. area. Here we have to play with the 3D image. We are going to 360, make it 360, and uh, audio. You can create it. Buttons. Everything you can play in this area. Content. Zoom in. And click on 3D. Then select Browse. I have a model saved up earlier in FBX format. I'm going to select that and hit Open. When it's done loading. You can see a preview like this. You can change the orientation so you can see how. So you can see that we have created the same image. We have converted uh, the astronaut to the 3D so we can make it more interesting. It's from the target image. I'm just going to rotate it so that when it appears, it's going to be facing the user. And I'm going to lower it up a little bit. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to hit save and publish. It should show me the preview. Once you're done, you can click on save. This video will show you how you can Sorry. create an augmented reality experience using Unite AR. First, it's going to be facing the user. Once you're done, on top right corner, you can see save and publish. And I'm going to lower it up a little bit. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to hit save and publish. It should show me the preview of a target image if I hit preview. Okay. Now I'm going to head over to my mobile. Once you save it, you can go ahead with the preview like I did it over here. 
I can open up the United Air application. I have the page printed out. I'm going to scan it. And the content should appear. Okay. Now, this is completely in So, we have content. imported the 3D image on the real uh, booklet, which has been scanned in our mobile. And you can see that we placed that image on that one, and it's working perfectly fine and interesting and entertaining as well. You can actually pinch and scale it up and also rotate. Yeah, and that's how easy it is to create an augmented reality experience with United AI. Thank you for watching. Now the time to discuss about the applications for Android and iOS. Most of the people are using mobile and Android-based mobile or iOS-based mobile. So I'm going to suggest some of the applications which are helpful on Android uh, mobiles or uh, on the Apple devices. So have a look in this tutorial. To start things off, we have Ink Hunter, which is quite a useful app if you are planning. Uh, the first app is Ink Hunter. So this app is basically a tattoo creation app. Some people love to create the like uh, tattoo on their body but it's quite risky uh, so uh, before going for the final decision for the tattoo creation you can have a look by using this application and uh, this is almost uh, give you an idea to the real tattoo that if it's been uh, on your body it looks good or not good by this application this is also augmented reality based information which can help you to decide for uh, the final decision a tattoo anytime soon well getting a tattoo is quite a big deal for me because if there's even the slightest mistake i'll have to live with it or spend a boatload of cash on getting it laser this is where ink hunter comes in with the app you can preview a tattoo on your body before you get inked permanently you can take a good look at the tattoo from various angles which makes it a bit more reassuring the preview looks a lot like the real deal and the app even features an advanced photo editor to help you customize the look. There are a bunch of built-in designs that you can try on or you can upload your own sketch before getting it etched onto your body. Pretty neat, right? I've seen a lot of people get tattoos of words or phrases in a language they don't know, which means that there is a significant possibility that they're walking around with something funny written on their body. Well, if you are looking to get a tattoo like that and don't want to make the same mistake, then you should download Mondly, a great language learning app that will help you make sure what you're getting into. With the app, you can learn 33 languages for free and thanks to... Mondly is another very good uh, application and real example for the augmented reality. You can learn different type of languages by, uh, by installing this app and this is one of the best applications. AR capabilities, the process can actually be quite fun. Mondly's AR feature makes use of chatbots to offer a truly immersive language experience, or I should say language learning experience. You can have a real-time conversation with a virtual assistant of sorts, which is capable of giving you instant feedback on your grammar and pronunciation. Check this out. Next up, we have Complete Anatomy 19, another great Another great uh, application, Complete Anatomy 19. This will help you to uh, understand about anatomy. Educational app with which you can learn about the human body by looking at it up close, like real close. The app features a variety of accurate 3D human anatomy models that you can interact with. There are over 13,000 structures in total with real-time muscle movements and over a thousand animations. Well, if you are a student or just want to learn more about human anatomy, you should definitely check this one out. The premium version of the app even includes detailed courses on human anatomy from leading experts, which you can try out with the three-day trial period. While taking a look inside the human body school and all, it won't get you as many brownie points 
is having your picture clicked with Spider-Man. Pretty cool, right? Well, then you should definitely check out Holo. Hologram videos you can create by yourself uh, by using the Holo uh, applications and uh, another interesting application, an example for augmented reality. With the app, you can add animated holograms to your camera's viewfinder and take a photo or video with a bunch of popular characters, celebrities, or animals. You got the complete freedom to customize the hologram and take the perfect shot to share with friends. The app doesn't have any real use per se, but it sure is quite a lot of fun to play with. Coming back to useful apps, Air Measure is a handy utility that makes use of your phone's augmented reality capabilities to measure distances in the real world. You won't ever need to pull out a tape measure if you've got Air Measure on your phone. Just point your phone's camera at whatever you want to measure, select the endpoints, and the app will give you an accurate reading. So this is another interesting application if you want to measure something you can use by your mobile and camera by using this application you can very very easily. Oh. To start things off we have Ink Hunt utility that makes use of you got the complete freedom to custom use per se but it sure is quite a lot of fun to play with. Coming back to useful apps, Air Measure is a handy utility that makes use of your phone's augmented reality capabilities to measure distances in the real world. You won't ever need to pull out a tape measure if you've got Air Measure on your phone. Just point your phone's camera at whatever you want to measure, select the endpoints, and the app will give you an accurate reading. Now, iOS already has a default app called Measure, which Apple introduced last year. So that will do the same job for you. Sure. So if you are Android user, you can go with the Air Measure. And if you are iOS user, Apple user, Apple user already have the default app that is name of Measure that work like the same way. So do not need to install the new application on the Apple, Apple environment. But if you're using uh, the Android environment, you can download this Air Measure. The interface of Air Measure does uh, take a bit of getting used to and the app might be buggy at times, but uh, it eventually gets the job done and it's kind of fun. Rounding things off is Jiffy World, a fun app with which you can add animated GIFs to your videos. It's quite simple, just open up the app, point your camera at whatever you want to capture and tap on one of the GIFs available in the bar below. If you don't like any of the recommended GIFs, you can easily search for more and I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Jiffy's library is just so extensive. You can pinch with two fingers to make it bigger or smaller. And if you don't like a GIF, you can easily remove it by tapping on it and then tapping on the X icon. The app also features a number of pre-made scenes with a variety of GIFs that you can add to your video. And you can even create your own scene and share it with friends. Kind of fun, right? So that's all from the application. I hope you uh, like this way. And now the next thing is creating classroom engagement through augmented reality. The last one, but not the least one. This is another interesting tutorial that you know, how you can create classroom engagement using uh, augmented reality. So this is one of the science class and teacher is going to teach something uh, about the space and you can have a look at how students are going to enjoy this class and how you can engage your teachers using the electronic devices and using the augmented reality environment. Talk to each other and see if you can come up with how many days it takes for a school to orbit the Earth. 
this student is actually uh, looking into the classroom using their tablet or their electronic device by uh, switching on their camera and the application. So another example of the combination of the real world and virtual world, you can see uh, she can uh, have a complete view of the real world, but she can apply the virtual world, all the uh, types, uh, uh, you, you can say all the types and all the kind of options using the electronic devices in the real world. So you can see a student not only can deploy the different type of graphical interface, even they can watch the videos related to that topic. Look at that one. So that's how our technology technology is transforming our lives. So that's all from today's presentation. And uh, we try to bring some interesting uh, uh, things, tutorials, and try to make you make build your sense of uh, teaching in a different way. I hope you learn uh, in a better way. Uh, now, in the end, I would like to uh, give you a chance to ask the questions. If you have it, let me give you the permission in this way. Just hold on a moment, please.